Now I'm gonna use it right now. Sundering, out of it. Nice, nice. Hey everybody, I'm playing with Apple Bottoms here. I'm doing some enhanced uh, DH disc priest. I'm using Doom Winds, and I'm gonna show you kind of how much, uh, how it goes. So these are just uh, like 10 games, and they're extremely fast paced. We have to pop a lot of cooldowns pretty quickly, but it's all good. We're gonna get the pumping going here. I have new, some new macros I'll have to be sharing, but I'm going Ethereal here because Ethereal is a great way to stay the frick alive. So we're gonna go ahead and get the momentum. I gotta pull out my Wolves first. That is like my new favorite global. It's uh, extremely important. So I'm gonna go ahead and cap stun to Sunder. I mean, it's already over. Popping them. So much damage. This is just my melee damage right now. But yeah, that's my damage breakdown. Wind Fury attack is huge. But the big thing is, they can outplay it. They can disarm me, or they can stun me during it. They can CC me during it. He could have feared me when he saw that I dropped the uh, Wind Fury. I don't mean to give you tactics to undo the enhanced damage, but it's not 100% broken. There's ways to avoid it. It's not like I'm stunning them, and then within the stun, I'm just pounding them. It's I'm actually like, kind of freeballing it, and I can b basically get CC'd at the end any time. The Druid could have stunned me, cloned me, hexed me, you know, a lot of stops here. The only thing that is instant is definitely changing. Chain Harvest. Uh, Chain Harvest is definitely a strong ability, but in reality, its hits are only hitting for between 4 to 7k each. Obviously, that's a lot of damage, but that's not like 15k, for example. All right, so here is Enhanced. We're going against Windwalker Arms. So I still, I'm going Ethereal for him in case my healer gets into CC, can't get out. I'm going to Ethereal. I should avoid all the damage except for the Disc Priest damage and maybe some of that uh, magic damage from the arms, uh, arms abilities. But basically, going to go ahead and pump it. Uh, as much as we can. I need to go ahead and get in there on pop my big damage when we get any form of CC rolling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the slow. Flame shocks up. I'm gonna go ahead and soak, soak the kick right away. Didn't happen. I got a shear. I'm gonna cap to lust and hex. And I'm gonna pop my big damage here. That was perfect. 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 What did I do? I got the cap and then I sundered. No one's gonna trinket a sunder. And then I popped my, my uh, bloodlust, wind fury, ascendance, big damn. I should have also probably had my dogs out by then so that I could have chain harvest as well to get the biggest pop possible. Because at the same time that he gets that instant CC off on the healer, which does give me a little bit of time to get that ramp damage for that Maelstrom weapon stacks, then he pops the hunt, which does huge damage. I pop my uh, my, my bloodlust, my wind fury, my ascendance, my sundering, all those things are kind of packed into a punch that is really hard to decimate stacked teams. All right, so I'm still using Doom Winds. That's the weak ore that you're able to see on my screen to show you when it is up. I'll put the link down uh, in the description of where you can pick that up. I'm against the Sub Rogue DH. I know there's not only physical damage, but I'm still going Ethereal because if I can use that before a stun, it can be a really, really big move uh, and, and make a really big difference. So I'm going to go ahead and be over here next to my buddy, my pal, my amigo. Hunt's go He's going in, the Huntsman right there. I'm dropping my wolves out. That's like my first gold I should be using. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I'm gonna go ahead and she uh, shear the healer if I can. And we're gonna go ahead and pop it. We're gonna go ahead and jump. I'm gonna get blind here. I'm gonna cap. Sunder. I can still have a shear. I use shear. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this over here on my butt, my buddy, my pal, my amigo. Popping him with physical damage, which is real nice. I, I didn't even have to use my chain harvest there, but uh, that thing cranks it too, so. A lot of uptime, that's my goal, is when I use those cooldowns, I need to get that uptime maximized. Now we're going Enhanced DH against Enhanced DH. We lost one earlier, and it was mainly because I just need to be as aggressive as possible and popping everything I can as soon as I can. What do I need to do? First things, Feral Wolves. I need to get my damage out there and force, well, basically assert my dominance on the other team. Uh, I gotta make sure I'm getting all the same exact team too. So, um, you know, we'll try to make it happen here. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and use this. Go ahead and cap right here. Gonna go ahead and get in here. He's go ahead. He went ahead and used his wall already, so I'm gonna be using my wall as well. So far, nothing yet. So we're kind of just chilling. They're waiting for us to use our cooldowns first. So I'm gonna go ahead and use mine. Wall. They they use their defensive. I'm gonna go ahead and bluff with my bloodlust. I haven't used any of my damage yet. Okay, now I'm gonna use it right now. Sundering, out of it. Nice, nice, nice. That was my damage. I kind of held on to it because I, I knew they, they used their walls and other things, but a shout out to that team. They, they crushed us earlier, so GG. All right, next one with the Apple Bombs. We're against Arms Warrior S Priest. Again, I want to get my uptime as much as possible. I want those Wind Furies popping. That's what it's all about, and that's what I got to keep focused on. So there's a lot of... Uh, we got we to gotta stay fast. We got to stay fast. We got to stay furious. Okay, this guy. We're going to go ahead. We're going to Sunder. I'm gonna, oh, if this is the guy, then this is the guy, you know? 
He's gonna pop him. Yep, he just popped. Very, very quickly. Big damage. It wasn't all me. It was mostly the hunt coming out of my boy here. But that is a lot of damage, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and drop Tremor. And then bait it with a Bloodlust. Capstone over there. And we gotta get in there. I didn't drop my, my, my totem yet. I'm gonna drop it right now. I'm gonna Sunder. Pop. We're gonna pop him right now. Trinket. Everybody used the defensive, so that's unfortunate for us. But I'm just trying to get uptime here for my melee damage. Because that's what's going to be doing most of my damage right now with Wind Fury. I, uh, it's, but it's pretty much wasted. So I'll go ahead and top it off with the Hex. I did get Silence, but I did get the Hex off on DR. It's okay. I do have heals. I can run. I'm going to start running those AoE style. I can start healing my buddy there. Interrupting some of the damage. Now we have to kind of chill and wait for our next damage go here. So I'm going to keep kind of disrupting the healer as well as kind of dotting him up. Or annoying him as, uh, you know... Apple right here goes to Pound Town. I interrupted, which is a big 10 seconds, still big damage. But here we got the other Disperse, which is real nice for us. Let's go ahead and get it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I stopped right away. Good. Apple's just going to Pound Town. I have damage in 10 seconds, the most damage you ever did see, but not quite yet. Now it looks like they're going maybe for a fear, so we're kind of chilling on that. All right, they have a lot. Of, I have a lot of damage available. I'm going to cap. I'm going to Lust. I'm going to Sunder. I'm going to use my uh, Wind Fury. Tremor quick. I'm Sundering. I'm just pumping. Sheared. And just pumping him down. The uptime, if I'm able to sit on somebody and I get some warm up time where I get some of my Forceful Wind stacks even rolling, it's even more devastating damage, which is pretty awesome to feel as the, uh, as the Enhanced Shaman in the room. So... That was a, a pretty scuff because of my talent choices, but we, we made it work, so it's pretty good. Gonna go ahead and throw out that good old doggos. Drop my Counter-Strike. They're already using their cooldowns. I'm gonna go ahead this. He's gonna port it. Gonna go ahead and keep using my da damn. Getting his cap over there. Moving in. Using my big damage. Sundering out. To This is all Wind Fury damage, baby. Yeah, I tried, to, I tried to set up a little bit too hard. I probably just should have pumped, but it worked out in the end, so. Purging him. I'll go ahead and start. I see my boy over here is going in on uh, on the man. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna drop Sky Fury right now. Bloodlust. Gonna pop on the healer. Okay, Rapture like shits on us actually. Like we gotta be careful. Rapture's like a big waste. We're gonna go ahead and wait for him. We're gonna sunder him out. I'm gonna pop my damage here on him. Yeah, he just pop. He just pops. Here they're already getting ready. You can tell. You can feel it in your bones. We'll go ahead and drop it now. Lusting. Okay, they didn't even drop their damage yet. I'm going to go ahead and drop all my damage. Oh, the guy's already dead, dude. I'm going to go ahead and get my wolves out. ASAP. Bloodlust. Sunder. I mean, what? Did right now. Just did it. Popped it. Popped my defensives. But we're going to go ahead and pop out of it. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, my God. He just destroyed the man. I didn't even pop my cooldowns yet. And a big shout out to Apple and Mafia for doing those cues with me. They're really fun. Very short, obviously, and you can see some of the games. Most of the games under 30 seconds, which is extremely fast, throwing cooldowns left and right. And a big shout out to G Fuel, who sent us a tub of the Peach Cobbler to give away this Friday. And the code Tickle is now 30% off until Monday. So check out the links below. My favorite flavor is PewDiePie. So with that being said, we'll see you in the next video or on stream every single day, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good one.